that's good, that's good. Right, we've got to put this into uh, attack mode. Uh, we've got to put that into tact. Right, we're going to do uh, 9 to 1 and enter, which means the things will detonate in a long run. And then we've got to press just 9 and B3. See, this is the font. That should be that should say W3, but the font's buggered up. Um, and then switch that back to out. Turn that round there. Uh, put ourselves up in the seat. Hey, here we go. And I think I've got to move slightly to the right, haven't I? Yeah, because I'm slightly left. And then reset the track IR. Oh yes, we've got to put some lights on the cockpit. We always like lights. Yeah, gears in the up position. Yeah, I like my cockpit lights, even in broad daylight. Thank you very much. But All right then. There's the waypoint. That's waypoint two coming up, I think. Waypoint. Yeah, waypoint two. So we've got to increase the speed. Let's just get the speed up. We need to turn slightly to the right. Right, and uh, I'll give you a quick look on the map. Uh, where am I? What we're going to do is uh, we're going to fly up here to the waypoint and then turn that way, and then we're going to drop the BK 90s on there. Then we're going to come back around here, come back in, and drop the BK 90s in a wide pattern. So what we've done there is we've set with 9 to 1 we've told the, the BK 90s which we can have a look at here that's what they look like so the BK 90s are a cluster munition and they fly like uh, okay once that horizontal bar gets between the two lines, here we go, 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 here we go. Released. Okay. A quick check. Now if I look around, try to Ah, oh, there they are. Bang! Look at that. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Now that was a long pattern. And there's the boom. That was the long pattern. Now we're going to do a wide pattern. So to do wide pattern, we come back down to the tact. I wish I hadn't done this on Nevada though, because the, uh, as you can see, it's very, very grainy. Uh, I mean, that line is all pixelated. Yeah. Anyway, you go into tact. Click in, click 9, 2, and 2 and then enter and click that back out and go now 922 tells the BK 90s when they're released to fly apart from each other ever so slightly and then release instead of one of them in the long pattern 921 um, the first release will release his munitions or her munitions its munitions it will release them uh, as it flies. The second one is on a bit of a timer and will fire out its munitions after the first one has finished firing its munitions and that's why you get a long line. So um, we'll uh, turn around this hill and we'll go and uh, blast the shit out of them again, eh? that I can. I'm trying to look from about there, I think. Right, we've got to get up to uh, 0 
Great Mac. Come on. Right, horizontal bar. Over a little bit. Just want to settle down. Here comes the bars. Off on the throttle. And... Are we too high? I think we're too bloody high, aren't we? Trigger. Trigger pulled. Okay. Um, off on there. There. So what we want to do is... Uh, pull round, get higher, and just pull this round to see if we can... ah, uh, there we go. I just want to um, try and see if we can... there you are, there's the wide pattern. Wow, it worked this time. So as you can see there are four rows of explosions there. And there's the boom. And that people. Ah, I've got more glitches. That is the BK90s in single player. Of course they don't do this in multiplayer. But we'll do that next. We'll show you the difference next. Right. Let's try BK90s in multiplayer. And the horizontal line tells me I can now release my munitions now. That's them released. I'm going to pull back on that. I'm going to zoom out and I'm going to bank round. And I'm going to climb a bit so that I can bank round. And look over my shoulder. Come on, pull round, pull round, pull round. I want to see... Oh, just missed them. Damn. Shit. Just missed. I just missed that. Bugger. But anyway, as you can see, that just made a big dent. And you'll be able to see on YouTube when I put it up later, or when I put it up in the morning. You'll be able to see the problem. Let's fly over it. Now we're going to go round and tell it to go wide, but... Basically, that missed like a bitch. And all it did was leave two big craters. Because in multiplayer... But anyway, you can see the idea here. Let me uh, put that into that. You can see here... Um, two explosions. One in front of the other. That's the 921. 921 tells it to burst one after the other. Now, if this had been a, in single player, which you'll see in the uh, the video, it showers it with tiny little explosions all the way down and the BK-90s will fly off one after the other showering with munitions right let's uh, get the speed back up um, now what we're going to do now is we're going to set this background to tact click in and we're going to set 9 to 2 and enter Now what that's just told it, is it's told it these two BK-90s will now have to fly in and separate horizontally. So they will fly apart, instead of one uh, flying in front of the other sort of thing, and the first one will... Sh it, it's probably a timer, I would say, that you, set, you tell it when to release the plane tells the bombs into it. So the first one in, in the longitudinal mode, 921, it tells one BK-90 to send out its bits and then it tells the next one to send out its bits and this is all pre-programmed into them when you release them. So it'll be on a timer delay, so one will start firing over its target at 10 seconds and the other one will start firing over the target at 12 seconds. So you get you get this long line of detonation and as you can see there it's just done uh, one explosion and then a second explosion. Now, setting 922 tells the BK-90s to fly apart side by side and shower at the same time, so you get a wide spread. So when I go back and drop these next two, because I've only got two left, they are two left, 
when I set them off and they blow up you should see a side by side explosion and so instead of one in front of the other you should see them side by side but this is the bloody problem something's not right though I think we might be too high oh no that's alright we've got it as soon as that horizontal bar comes between we can let loose and fire there they go okay so now I'll pull back we'll uh, see if we can do it this time so that we can actually see the bloody things exploding because normally they fly over and shower with uh, bullets here we go let's see what we can see I'm going to try my best to keep that without crashing there you go did you see that? side by side they went this time or well, nearly side by side you see that? you can see the first explosion here is one after the other and these ones because they came in from this angle side by side okay